Good morning and assalamu alaikum my dear friends. I hope you are all fine and taking good care of yourself and your family members. Please stay at home and follow all precautionary measures. Offer your prayers regularly. May Allah Pak protect us all. Amen. So our today's topic is seed dispersal, which is very important for reproduction of plants. Flowering plants have different adaptations to enable their seeds to be dispersed as far away as possible. Because you know, uh, you have studied fertilization and you have seen that plants need seeds to grow. And you have seen how the seeds are being produced. So there are different methods of these seeds that they are being distributed all over. These methods of dispersal are by wind, by animals, by water, by explosion. And if you see this, there are few pictures being shown that how different types of seeds are being dispersed by wind obviously the seeds have to be very light weighted so that the wind can carry them away by water the plants have to grow near water then by animals animals eat fruits vegetables and then they digest the juicy part of it now if you see this here the dispersal by wind some seeds are carried to a new place by the wind these seeds are very light the seeds of the orchard are almost as fine as dust. This means that they are so light weighted that the wind can easily carry them away. They are just floating in the wind and they are being carried away to a very far away place. Then you can see here the different types of uh, are being shown here as well. Then there is a dispersal by water. Water lily and the coconut palm are carried by water. Coconuts can travel for thousands of kilometers across seas and oceans. The original coconut palms on South Sea Islands grew from the fruits which were carried there from the mainland by ocean currents. So it's not that they are like the plants are grown very nearby. They are being taken through the ocean to very far away places. Then comes the dispersal by animals. The animals eat fruits but only the juicy part is digested. The stones and the pips pass out through the animal's digestive system and are excreted to form new plants. This can be far away from the parent plant. And then there are different types of uh, fruits which are being liked by the animals. They eat those just the juicy part or the fleshy part is eaten by them. Then comes the dispersal by explosion. Some plants have pods that explode when ripe and shoot out the seeds. Lupin, gorse and brooms scatter their seeds in this way. Then the peas and the bee plants also keep their seeds in a pod and when they are ripe, they are being burst open and they are being scattered. So this is dispersal by explosion. Now what you have to do is that in your books, you have to read from page number 95 till 107 and answer these questions on an A4 sheet. Question number one is, what will happen if all the seeds of a plant do not disperse and they fall at the same place where the parent plant is grown? Question number two, why seed dispersal is important? Question number three, what are different ways of seed dispersal? Write down the special characteristics of seeds required for dispersal by each method. So in the end, I would like to say that stay home and stay safe. And if there are any questions, you, and you have not understood anything, you can always contact us. Thank you.